Hello, everybody. Welcome into Letterman Row headquarters. It's another episode of Buckeye Cuban for the first time. We've got the former Ohio State defensive lineman, the Rushman, Tracy Sprinkle in the building. And Tracy, before we get into some film, man, it feels like, you know, been ups and downs trying to be, get that professional career going, but it looks like how she going to eat starting to pick up a little bit. Yes, sir. Um, we started the brand earlier this year. Uh, I think it was February 10th was our launch date. Uh, so we're exactly two months in and uh, it's doing pretty good, man. The support has been great. Uh, from former players, uh, former teammates, and of, of course, Buckeye Nation is huge, so it's been pretty good. <laughs> it seems like uh, I saw a bunch of those uh, How She Going Eat shirts and sweatshirts at the spring game last weekend, uh, those former players getting into it and spreading a little bit around to the fans in Columbus. Yeah, we, we're trying to spread it as much as possible. Um, we have a different designs, like I had a different uh, jean jacket <laughs> on, and everybody liked it, so I think we might have that up on the site soon. Well, those uh, look for that. Uh, there'll be some more information with that. You can follow along uh, with Tracy Sprinkle here on Buck IQ. You look at this, Tracy. Let's talk about those Rushmen. You know, those, this next wave trying to trying to feed people. Uh, you know this guy pretty well, Robert Landers, BB Landers. Uh, struggled with some injuries last year. Doesn't didn't maybe have the impact that he wanted to. But what is it about this guy that makes him special? Uh, Robert BB Landers, man, that's my boy. Uh, <laughs> he's obviously got the low center of gravity, but it's. it's to his advantage, you know, his get off is real wicked. Uh, he's really good with his hands and he uses his quickness to his advantage. So I think you have a good series in this year. Starting to get healthy again. Looking forward to that next season for BB Landers. Tracy's going to break it all down for us, just like he's Coach Jay in the meeting room. <laughs> get a little Buck IQ going on BB Landers here. Uh, so let's roll the tape. All right, Tracy, you talked about this uh, low center of gravity and that motor that Robert Landers plays with. Even not at 100%, he's going into the game here. You know he's not going to stop in this one. You, you, even if you're hurt, you're playing. Yeah, this this one of those games you have to suck it up, get a little bit of extra tape, whatever you got to get going to get your body right uh, and get going for this game. Now, what's the – what's? I don't know if there's anything special about the technique here. He's he's not going anything elaborate. He's just kind of – tell me what you see here, what he's trying to get accomplished before this kind of – the play breaks his way. Well, what I see is, first off, he's uh, stunting into the A-gap. He's starting off from a three technique, he's stunting into the A-gap, and he knows – because Coach Johnson is coaching him, he got to get to that A-gap. <laughs> so he, he's, he stopped right here, he's pushing the guy back. And as soon as the guy's set on him, he's going to take the momentum away and shut him down. And that sets him up perfectly for the sack. And obviously his motor fence finishes it off and he gets the sack. When you when you go in and you have this responsibility on first down, and you talked about that A-gap there, Tracy, does that mean primary responsibility is here run? He's not looking for the sack, obviously. How does that play out? Yeah, primarily you're thinking run. But uh, as soon as you take that step, you can see that the offensive alignment is soft setting. So it's a pass. And he hits him with the bull rush. And like I said, as soon as the momentum t it carries, he takes it away and he gets the sack. A little bit of a big celebration there. Defensive tackles <laughs> don't always get those sacks, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, man, that's a great feeling to get a sack <laughs> from the inside. All right, so here you go. And this is an example of, of maybe where that his size works to his advantage, right, Tracy? I mean, it looks like maybe he's getting, getting doubled a little bit, but he slips through the cracks. Yeah, uh, this is called a knob technique when I was playing here. You start from the one and then you step into the B gap. And it's actually a tough technique to do being in the right handed stance, stepping with your left foot. Okay. That's something Coach Johnson always tried to elaborate for us because he didn't want the guys who was watching film to know where we was going. That's, that's kind of how smart he is. Mm -hmm. But BB being short and low to the earth, you can step <laughs> through there and slide right into that crease. And you know it's going to be a zone this way because the back is offset there. So he has to redirect in the B gap and he gets the TFL. To get a TFL and get a double team, does that you get extra credit for that in the film? Uh, in the film room, yeah, you might get a little <laughs> extra pat on the back, but that's about it. <laughs> you know, this is some of that dirty work that you know you had to do for years, Tracy. You know, it can be some thank thankless stuff when you're taking on double teams. How how tired do you get of that when you're oh, facing it? You know, snap after snap, man. Yeah, it's tough, man. But you gotta understand your role in the defense. You know, BB, that's that's his role playing a nose guard. You know, we got to take on the 600 pounds probably every play. <laughs> And for him doing that, he's opened it up for other guys. But when you make a play like that and get in the double team, that's a great feeling. I think it's important to note, you know, again, that he was doing this at the end of the year. He, he missed some time. Uh, he had been frustrated a little bit as much as Robert Landers ever gets frustrated. This is at the beginning of the year, and you see that explosion <laughs> on football. This is what we thought we'd be seeing all year. I mean, you're laughing, Tracy. This is pretty yeah. – I don't know if you can do much better than this. Yeah, that, that's great. Uh it's all about the get off, you know, and he got off the ball extremely fast on this play. The, the center actually gets a step on him and reaches him, but his momentum going forward, I mean, you don't want to stop and start running lateral down the line of scrimmage. You always want to get vertical. 
So he just let the center go. He gets vertical. He's almost there before they hand the ball off. <laughs> so, I mean, once you get to that position, that, that's a great feeling. We don't get to see an awful lot of, of practice work for you guys, but I know that, you know, whether it's Coach Jay or getting, you know, Kenny or somebody else to work, it's always that snap of the ball yep. and getting the reaction time. That's a big thing for you guys. That's huge, man. That's the first the first step of the, of the play is your get off. And we emphasize it a lot, and BB got it done right there. Yeah, when he's healthy, there's not a lot of guys that can make plays mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Hey, he's trying to, you know, make a name for himself, a uh, new brand. Maybe it's not going to be how she going to eat, but, <laughs> you know, he's doing something else and branding himself with that cowboy gear. Uh, good. Good natured guy. Yeah, yeah, great guy, great guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's Robert Landers. People uh, at Ohio State expecting big things for him coming into this year if he can get healthy. This guy did some big things in his time in that Scarlet Grade too. That's Tracy Sprinkle and how she going to eat. I'm Austin Ward. This has been Buckeye Cube. We'll see you next time on Letterman Road.